Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I wanted to share an idea. I've kind of seen other people do them, and I wanted to put my take on it. It's an altered paper clip. So I'm going to start with a book page. Now, it depends upon what size you want to make it. I base this based on the size of the image and what I wanted to put into the pocket. So it's going to be a pocket altered paper clip that you can use in your journal. So my strip of paper is approximately, what is that, 10 inches by three and a half inches, just so that it would accommodate my artist trading card size card that I plan to put into it. So the first thing that I did was I was kind of looking at it, trying to decide which way I wanted it. And I like that the text is going long ways because I don't really want to be able to see it in that reading it. So what I did was I folded over a portion of it. It's probably about three inches wide. And then I folded back the other direction and then I folded in about an inch on this side so that I can make a pocket. So you see you've got this little sandwich going on here. The next thing I did was I went around the edges with some Distress ink. So I just used Walnut Stain Distress ink around the edges with a blending tool. And I went ahead and did this edge as well. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the color of it. So if you are ever got a piece of paper and you're like, well, I really don't like the color that it is. It's base is okay, but you just want to change the color. Well, I'm going to do that with Tattered Angels. So I've got a pink Tattered Angels. I think this is from my garden tea party set that I have in my shop. And I'm going to shake it up to make sure that there's not any mica on the bottom. And then I'm going to get my spray box and we're going to spray it. I use a spray box so that the Tattered Angels doesn't go all over my desk and I have to wipe it up. So I just put it down inside of a box, make sure that you spray, and then just be a few inches away and pump. And I just want it to have a light color to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is use my heat tool to dry it. Keep the heat tool moving so you don't burn your paper. You can let it air dry. It'll just take a little while. You want to make sure that it's dry because the next step it's important. Otherwise, it won't work as right. I use book pages that are from basically reference material, like a dictionary. In this case, I believe it was a Bible encyclopedia type thing. Yeah, it says encyclopedia. All right, so next what I'm going to do is take this piece, and I'm laying it on my desk on a scrap of paper here, and I've got Ranger Archival Ink Jet Black, and I have the small beach rose stamp. So this is a great way to use some of your smaller stamps to make a cool background. What I'm going to do is just stamp this, rotating the stamp every so often, all over this piece. So I'll just kind of come in here, rotate it, and stamp. So there we go. It's stamped already. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add my paper clip in here. So I want to make sure that it's somewhat centered. So I'm folding this back to find the center point. And I've got a, I guess you call it a regular size paper clip. It's almost two inches in length. And I will put this with the biggest part to the inside and slide this down. And I'm going to grab some packing tape. I've got some packing tape here, and I'm going to use this to help hold that paper clip in place inside my altered paper clip. Next, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the flap that comes in first. That kind of helps protect the paper clip again so that I don't have to worry about my card catching on it. I want to decorate this edge, so I cut a piece of fabric that's the same length, and I'll put just a tiny bit of glue just to help hold it in place, and then we're going to go over to the sewing machine, and we're going to sew. So now we've got the start of it. So let's go to the sewing machine, and we're going to stitch down this edge. Okay, so I'm at my sewing machine, and I have a regular sewing machine. I have regular thread, a regular sewing needle. I've set it with black thread, and my stitching is a zigzag stitch that it's set at two and two because it's electronic. So you'll just have to play with it. A tip that I will give you is if you have stitches that you like on your machine and you want to remember the settings, do a sample card where you stitch them out on maybe an index card and you write down how you got that stitch, where you went, what kind of settings that you had, that way you'll be able to use it. So what I'm going to do is just stitch right across 
this edge. Now what I want to do is fold this over. So I'm just going to fold it like it is. And then we're going to stitch across this edge and want to stitch across this edge. Now this edge has the paper clip. So you want to go slow. That way the needle can just slide over the paper clip and not hit it. So that's been sewn on. Let's move back to our desk. All right, so we're back over at my desk and we've got our little piece that we've started so far with the paper clip at the top. I have a couple of images from Calico Collage. So this is one of Norella's cat's artist trading card size. And then this is from her domino size images. And I happen to have this label punch. I believe it's from EK Success and I've had it for, for years and years and years. But if you don't have one, you could mat your little domino with another piece of paper that's slightly larger and round the corners or even cut your own shape. I will glue these two together. I've gone around both with distressed inks. There it is, matted together. And I'm just going to place this somewhat in the center of my domino or the image here. I'm going to come in a little zoom, see if you can see a little better. So I've got that right in the center. I'm going to add some glue to the back. And I'm just using Aline's Tacky Glue. Use your favorite glue that you like. I just like Aline's because it's inexpensive and it dries relatively quick, quickly. So I'll kind of put that somewhat in the center. And then Norella has these words, and I should get rid of the, one of the bigger ones. So they print out rather large. You can kind of see the difference in size. And I told my computer before I printed it that I wanted to print the whole page as as much smaller. So basically taking an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and then shrinking it down by telling it to print the full page as a five by seven or a four by six makes it a lot smaller. So what we're gonna do is let's put this since it's kind of looking that way, the cat is, I'm going to put it on this side. And then I have from the Find Your Wings rubber stamp set, there's this little label. And what I did was I stamped it onto some craft cardstock and I've gone around the edge with this dress ink. And then I have, I don't know if I have any left in my shop, but I have little words that I made and printed using my silhouette and my printer at home. And then I just cut these out. Now, I thought it would be kind of cute to layer it on there. So that's what I'm going to do next is layer this on top. If I get too much glue, I'll just wipe it away. So I have this little piece. And now let's glue that. Let's put it on this corner. And then I have the dainty or tiny cosmos flower that I colored using some watercolor pencils and a little bit of tattered angels just to kind of give it a soft coloring. And we're going to layer that on top of here. I like to keep things that I put in my journal relatively flat so it doesn't add too much bulk. And then lastly, we're going to use this artist trading card and put it right into the pocket. So let me show you what it looks like on a journal page. This is from Norella's kits. I think I've got shabby kittens. I don't know. I've got a couple of different kits from her and I thought this would be really cute. This is a postcard to add to the printed page. So you kind of see what that looks like when it's all put together. It's kind of fun, right? All right, everybody. I just wanted to share that idea. Look at your supplies and see how you can come up with your own version of this altered paperclip with a pocket. Hey, and if you do, definitely come over to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and share what you made. Say, hey, I was watching Linda's video and here's my take on how to make a altered paperclip with a pocket. All right, everybody, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then on Thursdays, the first Thursday of the month, so the next one would be like October the 7th or 8th, I can't remember, I don't have the calendar in front of me, and I will be doing mixed media on that Thursday. You can also check out my blog at lindaisrael.com as well as my shop. Do check the description box down below for links to the products that I shared today, and of course, what else? Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And definitely leave me a comment below what you thought of this project today. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.